Cleveland's Division of Animal Control reports a waiting list packed with more than 700 residents, many of them dealing with a growing population of rodents and other uninvited wildlife. One Cleveland woman says the problem with groundhogs in her neighborhood is so bad, she turned to five on your side troubleshooter Joe Paganakis. And Joe, I hear these groundhogs are really scaring the kids in the neighborhood. Well, that's right, Lee, and residents partly blame the rodent issue on neighbors who won't clean up. I think it's scary that they bite. I'm a little scared of that, and they're pretty big. Six-year-old Joshua Jones says he and other children in his Cleveland neighborhood are afraid of a growing number of groundhogs and other rodents setting up shop under the porches of homes on his street. <laughs> That's it. They are not afraid. <laughs> That's what's so scary. Resident Jackie Ladson says the groundhogs are so brazen they come up on her well manicured porch nearly every day. She blames several unkept homes on her street as the key reason for the explosion in the rodent population. High weeds, unruly landscaping, unmanaged trash. I feel horrible about it because when me and my husband first moved here, no, we did not have this type of situation. No, we did not know. People took pride. They put pride in where they live. Residents want the city to get involved. I've called five times and all I get is the runaround. They just send me to a different department, different department, and then they sent me all the circle again. News Channel 5 contacted the Division of Animal Control Services and it pledged action in the coming days. Meanwhile, Ladson took her own action on her neighbor concerning his trashed out front porch. And minutes later, Ladson's neighbor made a promise. I'll clean it up. I've been busy, but I'll clean it up. Ladson urges residents to call their city hall. Take advantage of the, the system. Take advantage of the, what you're paying, your taxes. Take advantage. Don't let things like this go on in your neighborhood. And we thank the Division of Animal Control for its response to this case. Residents can do it themselves by renting an animal trap from the city of Cleveland for $20, and the city will pick up the animal, or they can sign up on that huge waiting list. Information on how to deal with varmints posted on newsnet5.com. Live on 5, I'm troubleshooter Joe Paganakis.